Well, we got the S3 picked up from Bruce's place, and a bloke thought he'd bring it back to Sydney. It was a smart idea because it was now going, probably going enough just to manoeuvre it into my garage. So the tilt tray bloke dropped it up the top of the corner there. We rolled it off, but it wouldn't start. So we were in a bit of a predicament because we were sitting in the middle of the road and a bloke would fiddled around with it. But I was super lucky. Busy time of day, though. The a car park happened just down here. So I rolled it back as quick as I could. Just like this bloke is looking for a park. And I threw it in this little corner here. And I was lucky to get it. So we've had a look at it. I still don't know why it's not really starting. We got the fuel. I've checked it at the back of the tank. At the end of the filter, it's pumping. I've gone right up to the rail and it's getting fuel to the rail. And we have spark because if I throw a little bit of lightning juice down the intakes, it cranks and gives a bit of a kick. So I'm guessing that the injectors aren't working for some reason. And it's probably just a dirty wire somewhere, but again, it's a bloody hot day out here today and I'm really finished with it. And a bit disappointed because it didn't get into the garage where I wanted it to. Herb and I will work on it. Uh, it's the following day. We know we're getting fuel to the fuel rail, but not to the injectors. So it's either the dirty wire somewhere or the ECU snacking or the amplifier snacking. So I'm just going to get down to where that amp. Trusty torch. <clears throat> That's better. Let's see what we do on shorter. It's an electrical cleaner. It's a WD. <clears throat> That's why we might just pull off this. Ah. While we're thinking about what's wrong with that car, I'll just grab the passenger seat out and see if we can just give it a little bit of a clean up a bit. And maybe, I uh, haven't got some colour here, I've got some colour up the coast, this is doe skin. And this seat should come up pretty well. So firstly I just get some 400 grit, wet and dry, and I use it wet. And I just give it a light sand back, if you've got a little block it's better. My block's gone missing. Just to take that top colour off it, so when we start to feed it with some leather feed, it's going to absorb so much better that through the existing dough skin dye. Don't get too heavy duty, we don't want to upset the leather itself, we just want to take that top surface off. Just even taking that top surface off. Don't know how you can maybe see, but it's getting rid of all that hard old dye paint that's the sun damaged paint. Doesn't look too bad to see. The stitching seems to be in good order. But when we give it some feed, that'll soften the stitching up as well. Just while we're doing this, we'll go back on why that car won't start. We know we got petrol through the fuel rail. 
we work that out. We know we've got spark, because as I said, I threw a bit of lightning spray into the air boxes and she fired up. We know the injectors aren't blocked because it was running for five minutes. Um, 11 cylinders. So we know the injector's just not getting an injector pulse. So the ECU puts out the pulse for the injectors via that other little silver box. So we'll take that off later when it gets a bit cool and it's so hot out there today. And just spray and clean all those connectors. I need a node light so I can tell whether those injectors are peaking or not. I've got an injector tester, but that's not going to do anything good for me because you know they are at least working to a certain degree. The seat's actually quite soft once I've taken that little rough edge off that top of it that's been cooking through in the sun for a while. It's actually starting to, even without any leather feeder, it's feeling pretty good. Back seat's extremely good. The more I look at that car, the more I'm happy with it. Besides the rust, it's not going. And this has been neglected over the last seven years to sitting around doing nothing. But the whole idea of this channel is to resurrect cars that sit around for seven years doing nothing. So that's what we're doing. That's looking a lot better already and that's just had a little sand and clean. When it comes to um, leather repair products, I've tried a lot. I keep going back to the um, furniture clinic. I find that they've got a broad range. They have all Jaguar colours in stock. And they do all the other extras like the, the Flexi Fill and the restoring and cleaning products. And if you just Google uh, <clears throat> furniture clinic and type in Jaguar as well, it'll take you directly to the um, Jaguar colour codes and all the other products that you need to get when you do this sort of stuff. And I'm no expert at it. But just like that. I've only got one crack that's actually penetrated to, through the leather. So we've cleaned that up. And this crack filler will seal it pretty well once we get some colour into it. You will see it a little bit, but it'll, it'll be pretty okay. We could just run a little bit over here too, but I'm not going to. It's not a new seat. We want to keep a bit of patina with it. You can blow a hairdryer over that and just to speed up the um, drying process and then maybe just put, spread another bit on it, sand it back with a bit of wet and dry, wet, until you get the result that you want. Yeah, most of my repair products are up the coast. I do have this um, IKEA leather restorer. I don't know if it really works, but it's not going to hurt it. And we'll let that soak in. Good to use your hands on this stuff because it's got lanolin in it. Makes your hands soft. Wife will be happy. You can sort of tell the product, the restoring product, if it soaks in, if it soaks in, you know it's doing it good. So we'll leave that overnight, let that soak in. Tomorrow we're going to get the uh, uh, colour, we'll give it a prep and clean and good as new. Well that leather conditioner soaked in pretty well. The only places it didn't really soak in is where I didn't give it a good enough sand. And most of it's the back there, but that's not exposed from the sun because it tucks under the back seat, back of the seat. So that's, uh, that's only in half an hour, so I'm going to give it a couple more little squirts. 
I should also mention that uh, you could really use some um, leather binder for that first and I would have if I had some but I don't have any and also just should have also said don't go too hard on that sandpaper because you want to keep the grain of the leather in it as much as possible just to keep it looking as authentic as possible I've just been pulling the carpets out of it and the floors are all pretty sound a little bit of surface rust there another bonus is it's still got its original these would have been a factory option these plush floor mats I've only ever seen them in the Daimlers I think they were standard in the Daimlers Okay, well, that's it for the day. We've had it. I didn't get much done. Really disappointed I couldn't sort that engine out. I really don't know what I'm doing in those V12. Really, so I hate all that digi stuff. Just give me a carburetor and a coil and a spark and any day than that. But uh, we know that the it's just not getting fuel via the injectors and whether they've got any pulse or not. We need to get a NUI light onto it. I don't have one or I can do it otherwise I can test it but we ran out of time today so I mucked around a bit with those seats and that etc so what we'll do is um we'll on my way for a week so we won't be able to do anything till we get back it's still shoved down the end there I would have loved it in my garage here but that's just not going to happen so we'll catch you next week but in the meantime I'll just let you know that it's not what you know it's who you know in regards to trying to find an S1, uh, a 420G starter motor. But we'll uh, we'll catch up on that episode when we get there. Cheers, guys. If you like this episode, please press the like up, thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, it helps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, just press this handsome bloke down there. He'll look after you. Cheers, guys.